the Gold Coast. Home of beautiful beaches, thrilling theme parks, and lush rainforests. Of superheroes and sea creatures. Ask anyone to name a tourist destination in Australia, chances are they'll say the Gold Coast or Tasmania. And since we live in Tasmania, we're heading up to Queensland to see the Gold Coast. Well, it's almost five o'clock in the morning. Now our plane leaves us, he's 20. And you gotta get there an hour before. It's still dark, but you can see the sun rising over the horizon. We're traveling to Melbourne on Qantas in a little Dash 8, which is like a bus with wings. The reason is because they're actually cheaper than the discount airlines. Just goes to show that it pays to check all the options. We had three hours to kill. So what do you do when you kill time in Melbourne for three hours? And it's only like 8.30 in the morning. I'm having a Big Mac. <laughs> and got the kids eating Christmas cream donuts. Knock knock, who's there? Mice, mice, mice to meet you. Qantas today. We hope you've enjoyed your flight in from Melbourne. Have a great stay here in Coolangatta and we'll see you when next to travel. The Gold Coast is the largest non-capital city in Australia with a population of over 500,000 people. It was the ancestral home of several clans of the Yugambe people and was first inhabited by Europeans in 1823. We've got our car, now we just need to go find the real estate and then the place where we're staying. And we've got to figure out how the key works. Yeah, <laughs> there's no key, it's just like a proximity sensor. So, you, is there a spot where you have to stick it? Start. Alright. Oh my gosh, this it's, is so fancy. Yeah, it's like a spaceship. This, so this car we're in is an X-Trail, which I didn't order. I ordered the... Octavia, which is a bit smaller, but being school holidays. Handbrake, handbrake, handbrake. There is no handbrake. I'm so hot. Well, it'll be a foot handbrake. Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's like the old Prius, Prius we used to have a Oh, walk. good. All right. I got a little bit of experience driving these fancy spaceship cars. Just got to find this real estate now. Renting an apartment from a real estate can be a lot cheaper than staying in a hotel. We're just getting ourselves some lunch at the Burley Bakery. We made it, now we just got to change out of our 4am Tasmanian clothes into hot Queensland clothes. 
we're staying at Palm Gables, which you can book for just $74 per night. It has comfortable lounge room, fully equipped kitchen and laundry, two bedrooms, balcony, and access to a pool and barbecue facilities. Well, it's been an interesting day so far, getting up at 4 a.m. traveling. We got to the Gold Coast Airport and we went to get a hire car and it turned out that in addition to the agreed cost to hire the car for the week, they wanted to charge us an extra $400 as a deposit, which in theory we get back at the end, but you know, you always have to fight tooth and nail to get those things back. It takes ages, you gotta call the bank and it's just, so that's $400 less we've got to actually spend on things like food while we're here. We'll probably be fine, and I do understand why they do it, but it just really let the wind out of our sails. So after that, we went to the real estate, got our keys, and uh, we were coming here to drop off our bags, and then we're heading off to uh, a little uh, afternoon cruise that leaves from Surface Paradise. Um, we booked in for 3.30. Lots of little things kind of all added up to uh, just make us a little bit late and that a little bit later. Uh, in the end, we just had to ring them up and say, look, we're probably not going to be there on time. And so that whole thing has been uh, delayed until uh, Monday morning now. So kind of disappointed. We kind of got home just feeling really let down and just, yeah, but um, it's probably for the best. So we're just going to chill out for the rest of the day. Um, we're going to get something to eat from the supermarket. So when I hired our car online, I hired something that was a, a, an SUV, but was smaller. I have this tank and I'm driving it around on roads I'm not familiar with. I'm used to driving something that big, not that big. If you're staying in a place like this, you'll need to hire linen, which is easy enough to do. So I'm just trying to make the bed here. I'm a bit confused. There's no fitted sheet. There's two top sheets. So I'm not quite sure what to do with them. I guess we just put one of them as like a, a bottom sheet that you lie on and then the other one will be like your top sheet that goes under the doona. All right, well, I think I've got it worked out. Funny thing is, it's so hot, we'll probably end up kicking it all off anyway. <laughs> Here's a view from our balcony. Check it out. You could almost jump from here. <laughs> you wouldn't want to miss the water, eh? In reality, of course, you wouldn't make it. This is a good way to finish the day. Sitting out here on the balcony with a good book. I is tired. We're at Warner Brothers Movie World, which opened in 1991. This is the only movie themed park in Australia and the oldest of three Warner Brothers parks in the world. 